Forge Cup Ministries is a Bible-based church. Our mission is to bring people to Jesus Christ. God's word is above all things. It's sharper than any double-aged sword, penetrating to your soul and spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit and open your heart as you make God's word the standard for your life. Thomas TV, bringing people to Jesus Christ. Say thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. Our viewers, we acknowledge your presence. We know that you are there. The soccer people, we thank God for you. And those who are watching us on YouTube and Facebook, thank you for continuing supporting Promise TV. You are welcome in the presence of God. John chapter 1. Let me start reading from verse 2. Then Luke chapter 9, verse 37. But let me start with John first. Jesus is the center of everything. He is the center of life. Even if you are rich, you are poor, you stay in America, you are in Asia, Europe, the life that you are using came from him. Outside him, there is no life. When Jesus is present in your life, life is present. When Jesus is absent, life is absent. Eating and drinking or wearing good clothes or staying in a very you know, nice mansion or driving a very nice car. It doesn't mean that you are living a normal life without Jesus. Anything that you have can be used against you. Even food, the food that you are eating can be used against you. It is Jesus who is the center of life. Let me tell you, this is verse 2. He was with God in the beginning. He was with God in the beginning. These are the scriptures. I started hearing, you know, uh, this uh, scripture when I was very young. You see someone who is talking about this. You look at his lifestyle or a lifestyle. You realize that... Uh, the understanding of this scripture is not even in them. They are just using it as history of the Bible. Make no mistake, as a child of God, every little word of God is life to you. It's life to you. You are not like people of this world. You depend totally on this word because you came from the word. And it is the way to continue sustaining you and protecting your life. We know Jesus by his word and his spirit. It is the word that can lead you to Jesus. When you read the Bible, you start meditating the word. The word will lead you to Jesus. Through that meditation, you receive revelation. Verse 3. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. Through him, all things were made. So anything that you see in this life 
came through Jesus. And it is only Jesus who can control everything because he is the one who brought them to this life. They understand him and fear him. Even demons fear Jesus. Lion fear Jesus. You remember the issue of Daniel when he was thrown in the den of the lion. Who was there with him? Did his father follow Daniel? Did the, 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 the children or the brother follow him? No, he was there alone. Physically. But Jesus was present because he is the owner of the lion. And the lion cannot fight the one who made them to be lion. Because he is the big lion. Even snakes cannot bite Jesus. Who gave them that poison? Is it not Jesus? Come on, I'm talking to you people of God. You need to understand this. By the time you start, you know, and praying, these are the things you need to, you know, to, to declare in the name of Jesus. Don't just sit there. You need to be part of this. Get your own share. What is not yours, let others get it. What is for you, get it. And stand on that ground. Snakes cannot bite Jesus and kill him. When I say that, I mean a servant of a child of God sent by Jesus. The snake cannot inject his poison in his life or in her life. Because who controls everything? Is it not Jesus? So through him, all things were made. That is what the Bible says. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. Verse 4. In him was life. And that life was the light of all mankind. Take note of this one. In him was what? Life. Because he is the source of, the channel of life. There are some of you who observe every health, you know, instruction. When you eat, a shima, you need to eat a apple or whole orange or what. But at the end of the day, malaria will come. You will fall sick. Or sleep under a mosquito net. Or you do what? Jogging. Every day, you are jogging. Hmm? At the end of the day, you are going to die. It is Jesus who can make you to live that life of what? Full of joy. Even at the old age, with Jesus on your side, you are going to enjoy the last day of your life here on earth. Because he is the reality of life. Without Jesus, you cannot enjoy anything. So it is through Jesus we are made. Now the Bible says that in him was life. Did he say in your grandfather was life? Or your profession was life? Or when you become a, a, a minister or a counselor or a teacher or police officer? This is why you see we bury everyone, whether you are a doctor, you are a lawyer, you are a teacher, you are black, you are white, all of us, we go to the same ground. They buried him. They did what? They buried him. He said no. You saw, is it not me who created you? You cannot swallow me. He came out. That is Jesus. That is Jesus for you. Nothing that can, you know, take over your life, whether physical or spiritual, if Jesus is present upon your life. Are you there, people of God? He was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. Simply means, you cannot move here on earth without Jesus. You are walking in darkness. I'm not talking about the darkness that will come in the night. No. Darkness is what? It's evil. When you are moving like this without Jesus, you will not know where you are. You know you are stepping. You don't even know what is next. But when Jesus is upon your life, he became the light. To create space for you. Demons will be giving you what? Space. Space. You must understand this, people of God. The name Jesus 
is greater than anything that you fear here on earth. You can rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus. You can bind Satan in the name of Jesus. You can rebuke cancer in the name of Jesus. All these names can listen to Jesus. The only problem is that you don't understand the power behind the name Jesus. That is the problem. Sometimes you can, you know, build a very nice mansion or you buy a very nice car. A wizard will be angry to say, why must you drive this type of car? And I'm walking, footing. You see, you never drive that car. Each and every time you enter the car, your legs will be swollen. After driving a short distance, maybe you go to shop like coming back, you are having a challenge. Your legs are swollen. Sometimes it is the house. Sometimes it is the marriage. You, you know, you, you, you marry a man or a woman, you know, and with a very powerful wedding. Witches and wizards are not happy. They will start looking for something to use to fight you. Why? Why this type of wedding? Where is the reception at? They got and go, oh, I have never been there. Let me see if they are going to sleep in that house. Let me see if they will enjoy that marriage. Before you know it, every night problem. Every night problem. Because you are just two of you. You and your wife. And you think a new baby can make you to live a happy life. No. It is Jesus. When Jesus is present, you enjoy your sleeping. Without Jesus, when you sleep, you wake up. You don't even know who is chasing you. What happened? They were, hey, hey, hey. Hey, somebody was squeezing my neck. I saw a very big snake was trying to swallow my legs. They have already swallowed your legs. They have already swallowed your what? They, you know, your friend will ask, what happened? Did he even, yes, my legs were inside the, the python. You are inside already. It's just a matter of time. You start having challenges with your legs. But with Jesus, no one can do that to you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Verse 5. The light shine in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Satan had tried to overcome the name Jesus by intimidating and frustrating his mission. He tried to use all possible means, even the authority, to accuse him wrongly, to say, this man is misreading the masses. He's teaching them something which is not there. Our forefathers has told that this and that, but this man has come with his, with his own word, teachings. But at the end of the day, the man Jesus defeated Satan and his plans. Now, when you are going through problems, since Jesus is life, in him was life, and he became the light of all mankind. Even when you are, you know, you are going through tough time, I mean sickness, disease, there, 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 there are things that, you know, when you go to the hospital, they will tell you to say, this one, you can just uh, try to control your, your diet or you manage it. There is no cure for this one. This is where you see now people always confessing, eh, you are forgetting that the name Jesus is the one who gives all those things that you are complaining about. Let me give you this example in this book of Luke chapter 9, verse 37. So that you, you understand my, my, my point. This is 37. The Bible says that Jesus is life, okay? Now, if Jesus is life, in him there was life, and he became the light of all mankind. Everything that you see was made through him. Now, look at this condition now of this boy, 37. Luke chapter 9, verse 37. The next day, when they came down from the mountain, a large crowd met him. A man in the crowd called out, teacher, I beg you, teacher, I beg you to look at my son, for he, is on, for he is my only child. This is the man now approaching Jesus. 
A spirit sees him and he suddenly screamed and it forms him into convulsion so that he forms at the mouth. It ever leaves him and he's destroying him. This is the man now reporting the case of the, the son to Jesus. 40. I beg your disciples to drive it out, but they could not. Meaning, disciples tried to pray for the boy, but they could not deliver the boy. People of God, I want you to understand this. Even when you are praying, Jesus must authorize you to pray. You cannot just pray because it is your voice. It is him to give life to your voice, to say, okay, pray for this one, then I'll give power to your voice. People can request for prayer. Oh, man of God, pray for me. Come and pray for me. Like in our time, you see people calling, oh, I want you to pray for me. Do you know where that man is coming from, the one you are telling that pray for me? They, they could not deliver this boy. And these are the people who are very close to Jesus. Jesus did not give them, you know, that power and authority to pray for the child. Because he is life. He is the one to authenticate everything. It is not you. Just because you have, you, you know, maybe you, you are a pastor, you are like me, you are a bishop, then every time they call you, come and anoint my, my office, you go and pray. Yes, the voice will be heard by everyone. What about the results? That is the question. What about the results? Everyone will hear your voice. You are shouting Jesus. They could not deliver this child because Jesus was not permitted them to do that. I hope you understand this. If you lead, I'm looking at her, if you lead, you go down, you realize that even in the presence of Jesus, the evil spirit knocked the boy. He started convulsing. Jesus is life. If there's a medicine you need to use for whatever you are going through, the name Jesus. He rebuked the spirit. So you can rebuke what? The spirit. In which name? Is it fasting? You can fast. Dry fasting. It doesn't mean that Jesus is part of that dry fasting. You need to be read by the same Jesus to say, my son, my daughter, you can fast now. Look at the type of fasting that we fast. We fast without revelation. You don't even know whether your prayer has been answered or not. You are just counting days. This is the second. Mm -hmm. Third. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fourth. Fifth. Satana Muchibe. You are depending on what? Days. They are in the spirit. It is only Jesus who created them, who can handle them. They always listen to him. When Jesus said, I command you, I rebuke you, Satan will not argue with Jesus. He will just say, please don't destroy us. Hmm? One man of God was praying for a sister. He was kicking trying to imitate, imitate one man of God, the evil spirit said, okay, so do you think you can defeat us? We are coming for you. He thought demons are joking. Demons said, uh, they, they confessed that they were seven in that sister's life. They warned him to say, we are coming for you. What happened? After church service, the man could not stand. He started crawling like a child who is learning how to, you know, walk. If you are, the few far quish with you know, hmm? few far fe, ishina Jesus chapwa. When they hear the name Jesus, that name is lightning. He rebuked the spirit and the demon 
came out of the boy. You too. That power is in you. If truly you understand this. You know when you are praying. Let me give you this example before I enter the prayer line. It's like this. You buy a car. And then you give that car to someone. Just because the person maybe is educated. Then you say, can you drive the car? Let's go to the market. And this person has never gone to any driving school. And then you give him the car to drive. What are you expecting? Is it not accident? Yes. Same, same to you. When you pray, you must know that what you are talking about, you are not talking to the air. Because we have got more enemies than friends here on earth. Even the people that you eat with, is not everyone that you can trust. If someone is being poisoned, are you telling me that the poison will fly to come and enter the food? No. There must be a person who is very close to you who will carry that poison to come and poison your food. But if Jesus is present, he cannot allow that situation. Are you there? So when you pray, because uh, you take five hours, uh, three hours, you think, uh, ah, more hours I've spent, I'm sure God has already answered my prayer. No. Like, we are going to play here. After this, the evil spirit will be defeated by Jesus who tried to come back and attack me. But at the end of the day, they will realize that, oh, it wasn't that man. It was this Jesus who was praying for these people. That is the way I see life in the name of Jesus. Don't trust your voice. Thank you. God bless you.